Hello, this is my potos, my big ones. So this is how I water them. I put them all in the tub. And then I leave them there until they are dripped. I already watered them, but I'll show you how I water them. And it'll just drain out. I'll get the leaves all nice and wet too. So they get a bath every time they need water, about once a week. And then I leave them. And I give them, sometimes I give them a little shake. So it's evening now, so I'm just going to leave them in the tub for the night. And I'll go hang them up back on my windows tomorrow. That way I don't get a mess. But here they are. Here's the potos. And I got some of uh, the green potos. And then I got some of the uh, marble potos. I really love my mar marble potos. And then I got some that are mixed. Like, kind of like mixed marble and green. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this little mini clip and I will add more to this. Uh, I'll do a tutorial of my own plants I have. I tried that before but I guess I was speaking too fast. Hope you enjoyed this. I do. You're only a year old. Here I have uh, another, uh, it's either Monstera prayer plant or it is, well this, I think it's this one, it's right there, that one, it's a Folgia, I think it's called a Folgia. It has the, <clears throat> it has the, uh, the red in the middle of the leaves which um, the other prayer, and here's a new leaf coming out, right there. and uh, here's more potos that I just replanted, that they're doing well, some more potos, and then more here, and then here I got another prayer plant, this is a monster prayer plant, so this one is the one without the uh, out the red lines. And this one is the same. See how the leaves, they uh, come out curled up like that? And also when they don't have enough light, they go to sleep at night like this. They go like that, they curl up. So that's what's neat about this plant. And then I got this wandering Jew over here and I got these ones from my mom. And uh, they're just growing really beautiful. And I had just small ones when I first got them. And there's some babies. So this this one here is doing really well too. And it's a wandering Jew. So this is my plants here in the bathroom that I have in the bathroom. And over here behind the toilet, I have some more plants. So up here I have some spider plants. I am going to put them in individual pots yet. Um, I just put them in there for now to get some nice pots. And here I have some more spider plants. They're doing pretty well in here. And here's a little uh, thing of potos. I want to see how they would do in here. So I think it's a new cool little bowl. And here I have a, a heart fern. Um, I'm not sure how this plant is doing. I don't know if it's supposed to do this um, with leaves. But if anybody knows, let me know. It's called a heart fern. Uh, here's some more little potos. Once they grow, they'll look really cool. And here's some more potos. More potos. And here is, um, this plant is called, um, oh, someone told me the other day. Leave it in my comments if you guys um, remember what that is. 
Uh, oh, a jade plant. It's called a jade plant. I only got a couple little cuttings this summer and it's doing really well. And over here, I have some cuttings from a year ago uh, of um, an Easter uh, cactus. So it hasn't bloomed yet, but we'll see. And up here, I have a little wall hanging of some aloe vera. And that's the bathroom. And over here, I have um, uh, I forget what the real name is, but they call it the mother-in-law's tongue or snake plant. But this is the one that like goes out like this. So I planted it in this pot. I thought it was a pretty cool pot to plant a plant like that in. It's all about the pot. And here's some more different uh, kind of uh, cactus. Um, it's like a blooming cactus. It's like a, I think, other Thanksgiving or Easter cactus. So I don't know which one's which. Um, here is the original other one where all those babies came from. It's over here. I don't have her in a really good pot, but I will change her in her pot yet. So these are um, like an Easter cactus. There's two different ones. So there's this one. Has the leaves like that. And then the other one where it has the leaves like that they're both like a, a blooming cactus but I, this one hasn't bloomed yet either and then I got this little plant I don't know what it is it's flowers little pink flowers I got that from um, the food bank in town here from their window I asked them for a little cutting of their window and they gave me it was like a uh, two years ago and it's doing well you just got to keep it clean you know you just got to keep all the little dead things off and here we got a little baby cactuses that my son grew and he grew them from seed and they're so cute and then we have some aloe vera right here has some aloe vera mm -hmm. some more aloe vera in that cup some more potos obviously I have lots of those more potos over here way up here I have a uh, different types of snake plant. It doesn't grow too well, but it has a new leaf coming up, so I have hope for it yet. And then I got some more potos that are growing in jars, and I'm going to paint the jars eventually, once the, when I feel like it. More potos. And this plant up here, if anybody knows what this one's called, let me know. It normally has more pink in the summer, but it's on top of my fridge here and it's overgrown and I have to uh, start uh, uh, repropagating that again. And then uh, make them all new again. I have three of them up there. They're just like overgrown and they're going everywhere. And I did put a fence thingy on them. Over here I have some ivy and all the pretty uh, bright leaves. They're all new. They're all new growth there. And I have that in a cool little pot too. And then over here, I have this rubber rubber tree. And it came from a clipping too. And it's doing really well. I'm really proud of it. Here, I'll take it down for a minute. It's really awesome. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of this one. Some plants, they don't want to grow well, but others do. And remember that little plant I said I bought from the nursery in town here? Well, I added to it because I went uptown and it is almost, it is spring now, I mean fall now. This is the original plant right there, those leaves that you see right here. And then this one here, really purple one, the really purple stuff here, I got that from uptown and I got it from the very bottom and it was on the sidewalk and it was from the very bottom on the ground and I brought them home. And I planted them in here. Now I made this one fuller. And this one here is a cut thing called a wandering Jew. And now it's nice and long. These ones here, I'm gonna have to cut those ones. Um, over here, I have more spider plants. Two of them. And then over here, I have another plant. I'm not sure what this one's called. Do I have the thingy of it? Oh, I do. I left the thingy in it. This one's called Draconia. Draconia. 
I've had this one for um, a year and it's just slowly growing. I guess it's a low light plant. You could have that in your office, you know. And then this one here, I got it from a couple cuttings. That one here, it's like an arrowhead. And I got a couple cuttings and um, the, all the babies in there. Um, the, the mothers died and then the babies came out. But these are the two original ones. The two big ones are two, two original uh, that didn't die, the leaves. But the babies come out anyway, you know. And then we're going to go over to my favorite spot. My plant corner here. <laughs> My favorite one is in the corner here, is my lemon tree. I'm very proud of it. Um, I, br I grew this lemon tree from a seed and it is kind of, oh, it's way over there. It's kind of, oh, see, it's way over there. It's getting everywhere. I'm gonna have to put it, um, put it up somehow. But right now holding it up is this avocado tree, uh, tree without leaves, but it does want to start growing. See this avocado tree here. It's trying to get some new growth right there. But I don't have the like great lights for it and but it's doing well and uh, this one's doing well anyway the lemon no nope, no baby lemons yet but that's the one lemon tree that survived out of like I don't know how many I planted and then over here I have this little tree and it's not growing that fast I'm not sure what this one's called oh wait the thing is in there let me see Uh, so, so I can't say it. You guys can say it. Oh, you guys can figure it out. <clears throat> so that's what this one is. And then, of course, my first spider pants that I got last year. And there's nothing shooting out of the top or anything. Like, no, nothing growing out of the sides yet. But... I've noticed that this one here sent a baby shoot out and I this is the one I just planted and it's all about the pots right you know, it's all about the pots I love, love my plant pots this one here it's cute um so oh that leaf got cut so what happened is look look at that and have you ever seen a flower so they become little flowers first. There's a flower on there. See that? There's no focus. That's flower, and then it turns into that. This is the first one. Isn't that cute? Baby spiders growing, and of course, there's more little potos in a in a little jar, uh, a little pot. I like the cute little pots too for like my camper when I do get it done. And then I have this bigger potos here, but it's it's grown very big and it wasn't a small pot, but look how beautiful, I can't even hold it far enough. Look how beautiful that is. And it's hanging over on both sides. It'd be a nice like table. Let me see if I can display it better. A nice table like ornament, you know. Anyways, I had to find a better place for her. And then here I got this other one. This one's called uh, Purple, what they call it, a suede plant. Suede? Is it suede? You guys leave it in the comments if you know this one's called but it's it, you know it's it's finicky got to keep the leaves out of water and all that got to give it the right light and then here I got my nice just going on forever um, arrowhead and it's planted in a small little square pot I can I don't know if I haven't picked her up in a while she is beautiful too a small little pot right but she has lots of growth Look at that. And then I'll go back here and show you from far away. And then up here we got um, some more ivy with a fake bird up there. We got some more ivy in a square de um, pot. And then this is another plant that I have up there, up on my fridge, and I have a lot of those. 
Uh, so I have to replant them all. This one here has sticks in them, but they're not long enough. They're getting too small, the sticks are. And then I just have some more aloe vera, and that's all my plants. So I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial. Oh, last but not least, my little, um, this one was getting too much, um, it was getting too much uh, light, so I had to move it. It's my lily of the valley, and I had to move it out of the light, so the leaves were getting yellow. And then I'm not sure what this one here is. Because I put it in the corner, these haven't died, but if I left it like just sitting out, then uh, these would have already uh, broken, but I'll show you how long they have gotten. Look how long these have gotten. I don't know if you guys know what this plant is called. Um, let me know in the comments. Um, it just happened to grow that way. Usually the leaves grow, one grows that way and one grows this way, but they both grew the same way. So I've had that plant for a bit. And then up here, something is in there. I'm not sure. I think it's a banana tree that might come back up. I'm not sure. But anyways, um, this is my little plant tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. And don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share if you like my, vid like my videos. Bye now. Oh yeah, this is going to be, I'm going to have a little promotion going on. Uh, so I've designed my mug now. And uh, once I get to 500 uh, subscribers, I will be giving away one, at least one mug. And some other things that I have, like some of my stuff that I've made and stuff like that. And some readings. I will, all be, I will also be giving away some readings, some free readings. So if you are not subscribed yet, so don't forget to subscribe. And... Um, so I will, uh, later I will uh, figure out what the contest is. Once uh, we get to 500, I will figure out what the contest is to enter. So uh, you will get a mug and some readings. So I hope you enjoyed these videos, many different videos. So God bless everybody and like, share, subscribe. Goodbye. Bye. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I will be posting the pictures at the end of this video of the mugs that I designed. I chose so let me know what you guys think of the design I did I chose. Alright, God bless you.